Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, my name's Steve, this is Life at the White House, and I've lost over a hundred pounds and gone from this to this. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about the amount of reps that you need to do. Now, many people struggle with knowing how many reps and sets they should be doing to maximize muscle gain. Now, this can lead to frustration and slow progress. This confusion can be overwhelming, especially with endless information available online. You may have tried different approaches, but you're still not seeing the results you want. It's time to get back to the basics and understand what really works. One of the main reasons people plateau is because they're not challenging themselves enough or they're not consistent with their training. The truth is, there's no one size fits all answer to the reps and sets question. What works for some might not work for somebody else. Your genetic makeup, diet and training experience all play a role in how your body responds to different stimuli. However, there are some general principles that can guide you towards making progress. By understanding these principles, you can create a workout plan that's tailored to your specific needs and goals. A common mistake is to focus too much on the number of reps and sets rather than the overall training effect. It's not just about doing a certain number of reps, but about challenging yourself and stimulating muscle growth. This requires a deeper understanding of how your body responds to different training protocols. We'll explore different training styles such as hypertrophy versus strength training and how adjusting your reps and sets can impact your results. Hypertrophy training focuses on building muscle size through higher volume and moderate intensity. This is achieved through higher reps, typically in the 8 to 12 range, with shorter rest periods. On the other hand, strength training focuses on building raw strength through lower volume, higher intensity. This is achieved through lower reps, typically in that range of 3 to 5, with longer rest periods. Now, the key to making progress is to find a balance between these two training styles. You need to challenge yourself with heavier weights and lower reps to build strength, while also incorporating higher reps to build muscle size. Consistency is key, and you need to stick to a training plan for at least six to eight weeks before reassessing. By combining these two training styles, you can create a workout plan that's well-rounded and effective. The key takeaway is that a combination of moderate to high reps with progressive overload is essential for muscle growth. Now, progressive overload is critical because it forces your muscles to adapt to the demands that you're placing on them. This can be achieved through increases in weight, reps, or sets over time. By incorporating this principle into your training, you'll be able to make consistent progress and build muscle fast. In addition to the right reps and sets, you also need to focus on proper technique and consistency. If you're not doing the exercises correctly, you're not only wasting your time but also risking injury. Consistency is key and you need to stick to a training plan for at least, like I said before, six to eight weeks before you reassess. By combining the right reps and sets with proper technique and consistency, you'll be able to make rapid progress and build that muscle faster. Now, if you want to see me have an unbelievable transformation and build muscle, a little bit of muscle, quick, <laughs> then click this link right here. But apart from that, I'm Steve, this is Life of the White House. Beware that donut goblin and I'll see you guys again in that one.